Hello, this is Mark from Better Photos, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Lee filter system and also about neutral density filters. We'll start off by showing you how the filter arrangement attaches to the front of the lens. Basically, you've got two parts you've got a, an adapter ring which varies according to the diameter of your lens and then you've also got the the holder itself which clips onto that so basically we start off by screwing this the right way around screwing this on the front of the lens so, so it's finger tight okay um, and then what we'd use is this little connector here pulls in and out and this is what you actually fit onto the front so you clip the two pieces in there pull it out let it slot back in again and it's locked onto that ring you can move this around and what you then do is you drop your filters into this holder here so next I thought I'd tell you about filters themselves and this particular one is a neutral density graduated filter it's a bit of a mouthful but it's a, an essential bit of kit really if you're a landscape, uh, a landscape photographer and, and what this uh, does is basically, I mean you can see that but essentially you've got a dark part at the top and a lighter part at the bottom now what this does, at the top it blocks light out and I'll give you a bit of a demonstration a little bit later just to show you how it works but essentially it cuts out light from the top part of your lens and also allows the light and the image to pass through as normal on the bottom part so what I tend to use it for quite regularly is darkening down skies because essentially when you're taking a picture you're getting a very bright part at the top and a darker part at the bottom or a properly exposed part at the bottom which often results in the detail in the sky blowing out so as a consequence what you need to do is find something to block out light at the top part of the lens to bring the tones and the detail back into the sky and that's where this filter comes in dead easy to use all you do is you drop this filter in to the slots at the top of the filter holder and slide that down and the idea is that through your viewfinder you position or reposition this filter so you can slide it up and down within the filter holder and you'll find on the neutral density graduated filters there are two kinds there is um, a soft grad as we call it where the the gradient between the dark and the light is very soft and blends in and that's useful for undulating landscapes and there's another one which is a hard grad, a hard graduated filter where the graduation changes very very um, severely if you like from dark to light and that's great if you've got a flat horizon line okay so I've spun the camera around to give you a quick demonstration of how to use the graduated filter and, and really how it works um, you can see from the image that the sky uh, in front of you is quite bleached out we've lost uh, the detail there I mean my eyes can see that there's some nice blue touches there and some interesting cloud shapes and things but uh, they're not really showing up to any great degree by uh, through the camera lens and that's because your camera is exposing typically exposes for um, the foreground so as a result you're going to lose a lot of the detail in the sky and using a neutral density graduated filter is a way to bring back that detail so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just put this filter in front of you and you can just about see there we go you can see the darker part at the top and what I'm going to do is slide this into the filter holder so it's just a case of literally dropping that into the filter holder and I'm now going to slide, you can probably see the filter holder filter is being slid down in the holder and what I'm going to do is start to see some of the darker area of the filter holder coming over the lens itself and you can see, there we go, you can just see it going at the top end of the um, image can you see how it's actually darkened down the top part of the sky and brought the detail back. Now you can see the sort of blue parts and the interesting cloud shapes as well. You've got to be careful you don't bring it down too far. You can just see that it's actually started to darken down the top.
top part of the mountains across but it actually brings a bit of detail back there so maybe that's not so bad but it's just a case of fine-tuning it by moving it up and down so just as you're getting different styles of graduated filter from the hard grad to the soft grad you can get these filters in different strengths as well so this part here blocks out the light out and you can get them typically in point 0.3 which blocks out one stop of light 0.6 which blocks out two stops of light and 0.9 which blocks out three stops of light. So that's a little bit about neutral density filters and about the leaf filter system. I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.